you guys i'm tired my dog <laughs> frenchie is in surgery currently like i should give you guys a backstory i appreciate you thank you so much for watching first of all frenchie aka taz is an emo my emotional support puppy okay so i have been contemplating getting a dog for about a year now a a dog like an emotional support animal and um when i mentioned a french bulldog my daughter was like ew yuck they eat their own poop they're they get stuff in their fold they're not they're not small because she likes a smaller dog or whatever and so i kind of like took that and i hadn't done any research or anything i just took that for what it was worth and started searching smaller breeds and i was going to get a yorkie um i already have a chihuahua and but i'm not its primary caregiver either and if you know anything about chihuahuas like they're very loyal dogs but they're very uh, clingy to the people that take care of them and so like technically although she lives in my house and she is my dog i'm not her caregiver so she's kind of like leached on to somebody else right and i needed this dog for me and my emotional support so that wasn't gonna work I went to Florida back in March to check out um, a breeder who has some smaller breeds. And I really just wasn't feeling it. Like, it, it just not that it didn't work out. I just, I wasn't, it wasn't giving. So I didn't come home with the dog, but the vacation was nice. It was beautiful. And I kind of just stopped looking for a dog I what hadn't been feeling well and I was dealing with that I happened to be talking to one of my family members and I was telling him that you know I'm recovering and I was ready to get a dog and I didn't throw any particular breed out there I was just like you know something small something that is like emotionally attached to me and me to it and um, he actually suggested two different dogs. One was a, I don't remember what breed it was, but the other was a French Bulldog and it just all kind of came around full circle. And the dog needed to be rehomed and um, it's a four month old puppy and it just was like, it was a perfect fit. Like really it was and long story short that's how i ended up back in frenchy world so it was meant to be and this dog does not eat her own poop and through my research i found that they only eat their own poop when they're deficient in a certain vitamin i've also seen that pineapple or the thing that's made of pineapple which you can get as a supplement who will also help if you have a dog that's eating their own poop it's not just frenchie so yeah you guys that is how taz came along she got her name from her first mom and it fits her very well that's why i'm not changing her name she called her taz because she does not bark she does not make a sound but when she wants to get out of her crate or go outside for a potty run honey she sounds like a tasmanian devil and i'm gonna try to get some of that on film for you guys so we'll go ahead and move into the uh, why she's having surgery and what's going on with that so i've been speaking with her previous mom um for a little bit prior to me picking her up and she was telling me that Taz had cherry eye and that Taz, you know, she took Taz to the vet and they gave her medication, but the cherry eye was not going away. And other than that, you know, Taz was fine. It's a very loyal, playful, funny dog, position to keep her. And so I was very, very happy that she was kept it real with me, that she told me the problem ahead of time now i was able to research and decide before meeting taz whether or not 
it was going to be something I was going to be able to handle, something that I wanted to handle. As you know, may not know, getting a puppy is very expensive regardless of the breed that you have to purchase certain things and I mean it can really get expensive so when you're met with the dog and then she then the breeder or the owner is telling you oh this 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 and that about the dog it's like it's heartbreaking because like you have to make a decision right there on the spot and emotionally it's not good to make decisions while you're emotional so I was a very 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 grateful that she told me this ahead of time and I was able to go into a vet and say hey this is potentially what is going on with this dog how much is it going to cost me what is recovery like what are the risks of you know the dog having to have a procedure if that's necessary can this happen again etc 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 so I went through all that with the vet which was a very, very kind that he informed me that, you know, for, though I had done a lot of research, he just confirmed what I had researched. He said that French Bulldogs do tend to have a lot of medical problems if they're not properly cared for while Taz is down. If Taz was going to need surgery for the cherry eye, they would go ahead and look into her her throat or well, it's a throat for us on a dog is a palate and see if there were any obstructions because french bulldogs do have a genetic disposition with soft palate so as they get older they can choke they can potentially end up dying um just like that because they choked on something and since this was an opportunity to look and see if that was something that they correct they would do it yeah just like a lot of things and i'll make another video about if you have a french bulldog or like i said any bulldog that because they tend to have those folds they tend to have the ears that stick up there are things that you have to do to maintenance your dog or if you don't maintenance it you'll end up it's not cute i did that research with the vet uh the week prior to bringing her home when i met her she fell in love with me i fell in love with her it was love at first sight she is everything she is my new daughter and she is so great you guys i love her so much so anywho we went into the vet today and it turns out that yes um due to the steroid that the first vet gave her not correcting her cherry eye she is gonna have to have surgery but they are going to uh while she's down make sure that her palate is in order if it's not in order they're going to get it in order that way we won't potentially risk her choking and dying from it we're going to deworm her because she did have worms um, I don't think her previous owner was aware that she hadn't had all of the shots that she needed before it was time for her to start going out. So they're going to fix that. They're going to send some labs in, et cetera, et cetera. All the things you need to do when you first get, you know, a new dog. Um, and I am very nervous for her. I know she's going to be fine. I've had dogs who've had surgery before and they were fine. But it still is, you know, you think about your little baby going under and all that. And it's just like, oh, Lord, you know, hope she's okay. So, you guys stay tuned. I plan on doing a video to let you guys know how much her surgery costs. I plan on doing a video to let you guys know everything they did. And I do plan on filming her journey to recovery. The vet said that her recovery is going to take about two weeks. I think that is all I want to share with you guys get it right if you have any questions comments you want to see something from me or frenchy let me know i'll definitely film it i got a client coming in i gotta go have a good one